Hi all, welcome back to Easy School Works. In this video, we are going to learn about adjacent angles. So, let's get started. Here in this figure, OA, OB and OC are rays. 1, 2 are angles. And the rays OA and OC met at the vertex O and angle 1 is formed. The rays OB and OC met at the vertex O and angle 2 is formed. From this we can say that for angle 1 and angle 2 O is the common vertex, OC is the common arm and OA, OB are non-common arms. Now, let us see the definition of adjacent angles. Two angles are said to be adjacent angles if they have common vertex, common arm and non-common arms should be either side of common arm so that the angles are not overlapped. See, in this figure, OC is the common arm and OB, OA are non-common arms, right? The non-common arm OB is in this direction from the common arm OC. And the non-common arm OA is in this direction from the common arm OC. Means that they should be in different directions. Then only the angles will not be overlapped. So here angle 1 and angle 2 are said to be adjacent angles. Now let us see some more examples. Here in this figure 1 and 2 are two angles. And we have to check whether these two angles are adjacent angles or not. For adjacent angles, there should be a common vertex, common arm and non-common arm should be either side of the common arm. Now, let us see angle 1 and angle 2 satisfies these three rules or not. So, what is the common vertex for angle 1 and angle 2? It is O. Right? So, write down here. First condition is satisfied. What is the common arm for angle 1 and angle 2? Here, angle 1 is formed by the rays OP and OR. And angle 2 is formed by the rays of OQ and OR. So, the common arm is OR. So, the second condition is also satisfied. What are the non-common arms? OP and OQ. See, OP is in this direction from the common arm OR and OQ is in this direction from the common arm OR. Here they are in different directions. So the third condition is also satisfied. So we can clearly say that angle 1 and angle 2 are adjacent angles. Okay. Now let us see another figure. Here A and B are two angles. And we have to check whether A and B are adjacent angles or not. For adjacent angles, there are three rules, right? The angle A and B should satisfy these three rules. Let us see. What is the common vertex for A and B? It is O. So write down here. Means that first condition is satisfied. What is the common arm for angle A and B? Here, angle A is formed by the rays OR and OS. And angle B is formed by the rays OQ and OP. So, here there is no common arm. So, 
second condition is not satisfied so we can say that the angles a and b are not adjacent angles okay now let us go to another example here in this figure 1 and 2 are two angles and we have to check whether these two angles are adjacent angles or not first check for the common vertex what is the common vertex for angle 1 and angle 2 it is o right so first condition is satisfied what is the common arm see here angle 1 is formed by the rays ox and oy and angle 2 is formed by the rays oz and oy so the common arm is oy second condition is also satisfied and what are the non common arms ox and oz and ox is in this direction from the common arm oy and oz is in this direction from the common arm oy means they are in different directions so the third condition is also satisfied so clearly we can say that angle 1 and angle 2 are adjacent angles okay now let us go to last example here in this figure a and b are two angles and we have to check whether a and b are adjacent angles or not what is the common vertex for a and b it is o right so first condition is satisfied what is the common arm c here angle a is formed by the rays op and or and angle b is formed by the rays oq and or so or is the common arm for angle a and b so second condition is also satisfied what is the third condition the non common arms should be either side of the common arm see here op and oq are non common arms and the non common arm op is in this direction from the common arm or and the non common arm oq is also in this direction from the common arm or means that they are on the same direction if they are on the same direction the angles will be overlapped here so the third condition is not satisfied so clearly we can say that the angle a and b are not adjacent angles okay i hope this video is very helpful to you if you like my video please like share and subscribe and don't forget to click on the bell icon thank you